Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be doing just a little bit of um, a project that I've been working on. Kind of going over the code um, and uh, yeah, so it'll be split into four parts um, because I'm not going to be able to fit all of it into one video because it's quite large. Um, so this is going to be part one obviously. Now this this uh, program is actually me wanting to learn how to use files better and seeing if I can make sort of save files for such and such program. So I made a sort of simple bank program um, where you can deposit money, withdraw money, um, <coughs> and um, store user account numbers, the username, etc. Um, and so I'm going to show you or program it for you um, and sort of do it as a tutorial sort of thing so other people can use my video as an example of um, using files. Right, so to begin with um, I'm just going to open up this and as you can see I've set up um, a sort of file system in the information I have bank ID and files these are two files that I've already set up. Now in bank accounts there is nothing as the files are going to get written to that in turn. Um, other than that this is the current setup um, and we're going to start programming this today. Right so to begin with we want to go menu um, list so we're going to write up a menu to begin with um, I'm not sure if I've done this style of menu in other um, videos, but um, this one's how I'm going to do it. Uh, so we're going to open account, um, and this is just a bunch of um, just menu that's going to print a list sort of thing um, for users. Uh, okay, so load load details. Uh, display details uh, so what, what we're going to do first is just set up a bunch of variables um, so possibly if you know how to do this sort of thing already you might want to skip to the second part of this video or second part of this um, sort of series um, as it could get reasonably boring or skip through the video as well um, but there it may be parts that are important coming up after this Alright, so that's all for this file. Um, we're now all this, sorry, this um, list. And now we want to move on to um, doing this sort of information um, variable. So this is going to, oh, don't want to use dictionaries. Um, we want to do n slash a and we want to duplicate that three times as those are going to be how we realize whether the list or something has been loaded into the um, system sort of thing. Um, so we're going to go save path now. This is going to be in, uh, important. Um, I'm going to go save path equal to and we want to go bank underscore accounts or yeah, accounts. I think it's accounts. I'll check after this. Now, um, this is part of this file, so it's going to um, re read this file um, and get the. This is going to be for later on. It's going to read that file to um, 
to get the bank where to put the bank accounts vault files or receive them from retrie retrieve them from um, and then we're going to go um, information and that's also slash so that's that's getting the other folder or file folder this one here um, so that's just to reference it so that you can use it so it's not hard coded in. Um, now this bit where it gets a bit complex so we want to go current new bank number is equal to open information underscore path is that not the variable name oh okay yeah I missed the I right, that's good yeah. oh shit yeah file okay yep so we go there and we go bank id dot txt and then we go r for read in case you don't know what that means all right now we're going to go id number is equal to int of current new bank number dot read line and then um, current underscore new bank number dot close All right Ooh. so this here goes into uh, this file gets this number here and applies signs it to ID number now later on we're going to increment this so that every time it um, is, incre uh, is used it gets increased by one and then upload back to this file so it's going to then get changed automatically um, the more files the more account bank accounts you make right so if we go back to the bank um, video we then have closed that file this file here um, which is what we opened the bank ID from so if we go ahead and print ID number and we run it um, then we can see that this is actually um, the number that was shown inside that file all right so that'll do um, for part one of this video um, it's obviously going to take quite a while I didn't expect it to be taking this long but I don't want to go much over eight minutes per video sort of thing um, I want to keep the videos quite short so that you can skip between them if you already know how to do certain things um, so yeah keep stay tuned for the next video um, and I hope you enjoyed this one um, obviously like usual um, leave a like if you do like this video or this, this style of video and I will keep uploading one similar